Hello, I'm Tan Kruger from RMIT University. And I'm Blair McLennan, also from RMIT University. And we're both working on Project uh, 1, Package 1, Adapting the Sector, funded through the CRC. This short presentation will be an update of what we've been doing for quarter 2, October to December 2017. So to date we've started um, our field work which has involved about 36 key people from around Australia from various agencies, SES, bushfire, local government and community groups. And most of those interviews have been undertaken via the telephone and have run for approximately 30 minutes. We've also completed a preliminary report using this data from the interviews, which we'll talk about in a bit more detail in a moment. Yeah, so that's been our main substantive piece of work over the past few months. Alongside that, we've also been extending our engagement with stakeholder groups beyond emergency management volunteer or emergency volunteer management. Um, so first and most importantly, we've set up an advisory group for this part of the project. Uh, to bring a wider range of perspectives to help inform the research process and that group has now had its first meeting. There's about 10 people on that so far um, and that brings together community perspectives, um, emergency management volunteers, local government and community sector organisation view with community engagement um, perspective from an emergency management organisation. Secondly, We've connected with the AFAT Community Engagement Technical Group and have a rep from that group now on our advisory group. And that's to help us better tap into and understand how emergency management organisations can support and enable volunteering that happens out in the community through their community engagement work. And finally, we've also started talks with Volunteer Fire Brigades Victoria about how we can start to tap into emergency management volunteer networks to bring in a stronger EM volunteer perspective earlier on in the project process. So going back to that preliminary report of the findings from our interviews, that, I just wanted to reiterate, that's really a first pass at pulling together all the information that we're getting from the interview. For our CRC and users, there's not going to be a whole lot that's terribly surprising out of that because so far that piece of work is about bringing together and consolidating a management or an organisational view of where the sector is currently at and where it's going with volunteering. So one key sort of broad finding from those interviews for me that will be in particular not surprising for our end users is that nobody has said that change is not required. Everybody has said some kind of change is needed and quite high level change. Um, there's, a lot, there's a lot already being done in organisations, but the message that is coming through loud and clear is that a lot more still needs to be done. Another key conclusion for me from these interviews has been that we can't look at the future of volunteering only through a volunteer sustainability lens. If we do, we're curtailing our view of the future um, to the detriment of this project and, and of our ability to be able to adapt for it. Um, Sustainability issues, particularly um, retention and recruitment, are absolutely an issue for organisations. But underlying those that, that sustainability issue are more systemic, broader issues that we haven't really started to tap into and confront directly yet in a, in a comprehensive way. So they're the issues that we're, we're starting to dig into into this project. Issues around the type of service that the sector provides to community and the way that it provides it issues around cultural change across the sector and issues around being more responsive to the dynamics in out there in the community and in society and in technology more broadly. And then finally for me another key thing that's, that I've noted out of these interviews is some of the ideas that people have for what needs to happen moving forward into what we call preferred future state. Um, there's some really exciting ideas there and some real kernels of some fantastic work that I think we're going to be able to dig into a little bit deeper going forward. I'd like to reiterate Blythe's point about community development. I think we need to start using a, a community development lens to broaden the perspective and potentially change the mindset and culture in the EM sector. And that was talked about in the interviews that I looked at uh, with local government and NGOs and community groups. Another thing they raised was the um, 
way that the media sometimes promotes the influx of volunteers is a success where behind the scenes it's quite uh, challenging. Um, and then the finance, uh, financial costs of volunteering is often um, underestimated. As we all know, there's a lot of costs involved in managing uh, volunteers across the board. The other um, aspects that were raised were um, resource management um, to share and collaborate across agencies. And technology is obviously going to be something that for the future and now is really um, broadening um, uh, the, uh, the mechanisms to work well with uh, many people. Uh, and so we've also talked about this might be an opportunity to involve younger people, so through the development of apps and social media, but the challenge will be to keep abreast with, of technology. And then all the interviewees talked about the need to plan ahead. And one uh, NGO rep probably put it in a nutshell, which was, you know, really start before it all happens. We'll continue more interviews to cover the gaps and we'll aim to complete this in early 2018. The environmental scan includes the interviews, but it also includes uh, a review of strategies and plans that we've undertaken already and looking at these plans across Australia and internationally. And then we'll combine this information, the interviews and the plans um, in a report. Yeah, so there's another activity we're going to be looking at over the next three months and that is redigging our research process a bit. So that environmental scan so far has really focused on management and organisational view of volunteering and the future of emergency management and volunteering. But what we're wanting to do is rejig our process to create um, a greater space for some of the other views and narratives around volunteering that are different to the management perspective. In particular, our views from emergency management volunteers themselves and from communities and community leaders and some of the new volunteering groups that have emerged over the last few years. Uh, so that's our next step. Um, we're really keen to get end user feedback and comment on that preliminary report so that we can and, um, figure out what to do going forward in producing a final report. Uh, so we're looking forward to hearing our end users' comments on that work so far at our next public conference. We'll see you there. Thanks. Thanks.